Olympics brought in more security amidst uh, sabotage railway networks and there's always the threat of protests from residents. Nobody has a better view of all of this than a local family from Charleston who happens to be in the City of Lights right now. News Channel 3's Luke Hamilton spoke with that family on what they're seeing on this big Olympic trip. We hear those all night long. A family from Charleston taking a trip to the Paris Olympics. Nikki Boggs, her son Parker, and sister Tawny have a scenic view of the Eiffel Tower from their hotel room, and they've noticed increased security for the Olympics. There's been security everywhere. Like on every street corner, there's a very heavy police presence. Like even now, it's 1140 at night, and there's four, four, four corner. armored guards on the corner right below our balcony. Boggs says her family always asks if she feels safe when traveling outside the country, but she hasn't let those worries get to her. I could get shot at home, walking down the street, or I could get shot here, so. The family was traveling by train from London when France's railway network was sabotaged. The delays caused them to be late to the opening ceremony, and a trip that was supposed to take two and a half hours took over six hours. Yeah, it was a little unsettling. Because there were moments that we were at a complete stop for maybe 10 minutes out in the middle countryside, the middle of nowhere. It wasn't really communicated too much as to why we were stopped. Although the family is enjoying the Olympic events, they say the locals have been impacted. Our taxi driver today was telling us a lot of folks have left town. This has disrupted their city, no doubt. Luke Hamilton, WSAZ News Channel 3. And while in Paris, the family plans to visit Disneyland in Paris before they come back to watch even more Olympic events on Wednesday.